Lewis was making fun of me on stream, so I made a video exposing his ass, but apparently this fucking idiot who didn't get the joke. And if you're wondering if I'm talking about you, this is how you tell. If you're getting offended by what I'm saying, then I'm talking about you. I mean, there's a lot of fucking idiots on the internet without a brain, cause the doctor ran out on them halfway through a brain transplant. If you one of those people, do me a favor, kick your dad in the balls repeatedly and make sure he can never have kids again cause that shit is defective. And afterwards, go outside and apologize to the tree that's replacing the oxygen that you wasted. Lewis wasn't able to get his head all the way up your asshole like you did, but I'm right here with you. You know why entertainers make more money than fucking doctors? Cause keeping you and people like you distracted from how shitty your life is, is very profitable. Lewis might not be a millionaire, but if he wakes up tomorrow with your money and your job, the only two things that's gonna go through his mind will be whether to jump off the Williamsburg Bridge or the Brooklyn Bridge. I'm not good at running a repair shop. I'm not even very good at real estate. If I have to fix a map book to save my mom's life, my last words to her will be, Paul cannot get here fast enough, but you lived a good life. I'm a shitty C- minus person at best, but one thing I am good at is going full retard and roasting some fucks. So go fuck yourself with your overgrown clip. If you value yourself on how much minus work you could do, you should have a six foot one statue of me in your living room and licking my second and third toe at least six times a week. Cause the first time I did cocaine was so I could work three days in a row without sleeping. And I don't know why you're in my comments. You should be in a factory. Here's the thing, me and Lewis doesn't really see eye to eye. If anything, I don't agree with a lot of his views. And if I'm being honest, I don't really care about right to repair. But to accuse him of illegally spending donation funds on his girlfriend is just stupid. I know Lewis for a long time and I can tell you for a fact that this guy doesn't even wipe his ass without checking with the IRS first. You know why Lewis is not a millionaire? Cause he pays me $20 an hour back in 2013 and you break I fix is still trying to pay people $13 an hour in 2022 after the hyperinflation caused by COVID. Not only is he not a millionaire, there's only two and a half people Lewis knows that's a millionaire. The guy who drives a Jetta, the guy who haven't slept since Lewis called him almost a billionaire, and the half is your boy Sonny before my ex took half. <laughs> the only joke so far is me saying that she only took half. When you're a big movie star, you get paid out the ass with product endorsements and get to live in a nice mansion in LA. When you become big on YouTube, you also get a ton of sponsorship. But when you're the biggest name in the repair industry, you get to live in the worst neighborhood in New York City with the highest crime rate with an extra hole in your bathroom sink. <laughs> it's honestly depressing. But your boy Lewis got his priorities straight. When you look at his living room, you only see one chair in front of the TV. So when he invites girls over to watch a movie, there's nowhere else to sit besides on his dick. <laughs> That's an essential chair right there. All jokes aside, running a repair business is like Jesus trying to run a hospital. People only come to you when they need a miracle. And if it's successful, they praise you. But if it's not, they curse you out and call you a scam. And even if they leave happy and tell their friends about it, most people won't even believe them. Some people will even be like, I don't think that's what God intended. Let's say, let's say hypothetically, we value Rossman Repair Group at a million dollars. The people who will agree with that does not have a million dollars to buy his business. The people who do is not gonna spend a million dollars to buy his business. Cause the repair industry has a very high skill set and a very low margin with no barrier of entry. So they don't need to spend a million dollars buying somebody else's business. They can start their own for less than $10,000. Lewis doesn't really bring this up, but he's surrounded by competition. People don't understand how competitive New York City is. Even if you are Lewis Rosman, you ain't shit. There's literally over 40 other repair shops in the eight block radius. I always tell Lewis that he's in the Middle East of the repair shop. You're not going to work every day, you're going to war. On top of everything, no one is gonna spend a million dollars buying a business if they're not even sure how long the repair business is going to be around for. Here's the funny thing. If Lewis tried to sell his company, people will take one good look at his expenses and tell him to GTFO. But let's say he does find someone to buy his business for a million dollars. And let's say everyone agreed to stay and do what they're supposed to do after the business has been sold. But here's the thing, without Lewis being there, they're definitely not gonna go above and beyond for the new owner. Like Steve will do everything he's supposed to do at work, but he's definitely not taking no emails at 12 in the morning. What he's gonna do is take a pill and then take his wife to town. You might be like, Sonny, you're his friend, you're just saying that. 
if you break I fix is making money, Lewis should make money because Lewis is better than you break I fix. And I agree with your logic there. But next time you're in a franchise convention, walk up to a you break I fix and let them sell you a you break I fix franchise. Or just call them up on the phone and they will say this one line that gets me every time. Here's the thing they say. Oh, the great thing that says you break I fix apart from other franchise is you only need one or two employees. Cause at you break I fix, one employee wears many hats. By that logic, Lewis has over 20 employees. That means he should have at least 10 stores around New York City. Then he might even be able to sell Rossman Repair Group for more than a million dollars pre-COVID. But if he had 10 stores post-COVID, let's just say being a millionaire is the last thing on his mind. Going back to what I was saying, if Lewis wants to sell Rossman Repair Group at a million dollars, he has to find someone else that values the business at that price or more. Like, I will pay Elon Musk $236,000 to just on my face. And I'm sure there's people out there that's willing to pay more. That's a money shot right there. So, if you're a true fan of Louis Rosman, put your money where his dick is. And let's get the Subway great guy to a millionaire in 6 to 11 ejaculations. If not, the value of Rosman Repair Group is a lot like friendship or the love between you and your wife. So unless you want me to fuck your wife, but even then it might not be worth all the nagging because I could get obligation free pussy for a couple of overpriced drink and a few shitty pickup lines from this guy on YouTube. It might not work all the time, but it works well enough just like my dick. <laughs> Lewis has touched more lives than a successful Catholic priest. The fact that Lewis Rosman is not a millionaire proves one thing. Hard work does pay off. Sometimes it's just not in dollar dollar bills. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. But at the end of the day, I can only try to make you laugh, but I cannot make you happy. Remember that. Peace. I, I wish I could have been there for that. See, but. like, I met you through <laughs> Right? That was fucking funny. Like, that's funny. Like, I met you through a fucking Albanian drug dealer whose name <laughs> rhymes, with, <laughs> rhymes with Elvis. <laughs> that's fucked up, son. Right? But it's not true. <laughs> yeah. I met you through an Albanian... That, that, that shit only happens in New York. That shit only happens in New York. <laughs> like, he's really passionate about a fucking map of repair for some reason. <laughs> like, every he is. he is. Like, there's no drug involved, he just happens to be an Albanian drug dealer <laughs> whose name rhymes with Elvis, <laughs> and he's really passionate about fucking map repair for some reason, and that's how I met fucking Lewis. Yeah, that doesn't happen in a lot of places. And like, right before that, the day I met fucking, well, the day I fucking, I met John a while back, but I was, and I haven't saw him for a long time, and I fucking met him when I was working at a lingerie shop.